to use this daily chart of GLD, the gold ETF, dem to demonstrate another feature of the Swing Master Chartist. And we know that gold has taken quite a hit uh, since the end of last year. October 4th, 2012, it was high, as high as 174, uh, and it's fallen all the way down to uh, 114, uh, but it's rallied uh, fairly impressively off of the uh, June 28th low. And now we want to get an indication, is it time to load up on gold, or should we be waiting a little bit to see what happens? Uh, the gold bulls can certainly make a case uh, with all the war news uh, that's been uh, spread all over the internet and on television and in the newspapers uh, lately. Let's just take a look at a couple indicators and we'll try and get a feel for this. The first we'll look at is the vortex trend indicator. And the green line is indicative of a bullish trend. And when the green line is above one and rising, and then that indicates that there is a strong bullish trend in effect. And conversely, when the red line, which is the bearish half of the indicator, crosses below one and is sloping downward in direction, we know that there is uh, the bearish trend possibility is weak. So the GLD index, a uh, gold ETF, uh, is in a bullish trend and in a bullish mode. We'll look at one more indicator. Uh, we'll look at ADX. ADX measures the strength of the trend and this zero line we have set at about uh, 25 and when the ADX is above 25 it indicates a strong trend so we're just under 25 not quite there but the slope is up. So the bullish trend for all intents and purposes is intact. The question is, is this the time to be loading up on GLD? And one way we can, we can determine that is with the Hearst cycles, but we're going to do something interesting here. First we're going to do a Fourier analysis of gold to determine what the major cycles are and we pop it up we can see that there's a uh, the first uh, shortest dominant cycle is about 32 but we can see there's a bump right here and this is at about 70 so we know just from looking at this and we can zoom in to get a little better look that there's a cyclical bump around 70 in GLD and we can use that to our advantage so let's close that uh, since we know that 70 is the period we want for our Hearst average, uh, we'll pop up a 70 period moving average. And we can do a couple things. The separation, the slight separation between the solid blue line and the dotted blue line uh, shows you at a glance where the actual value of the displaced moving average ends and the projected value begins. But the first thing we'll do is, because we have a solid green and red uh, projection here, we'll use uh, the green projection and we click on a low and click on the high and we can see that the moving average projections are calling for a top probably no more than 141 or 142 in this move and we've already gotten to about 137.66. So there might be a little more, but we think it's going to hit the wall, certainly no higher than that. And the other method that we'll use is our time price prediction. And for this, we'll use the uh, long and intermediate, the green and the blue moving averages. Click once, we'll follow the blue back to the last blue-green intersection, and we'll click on the bottom and we can see that we get a time price projection about the same price 141.89 but it's calling for a top at around August 30th and there's the 27th and there's the 28th so we're within a couple days of the projection from the top so all together what this tells us is that this is not the time let's wait and see what happens before we load up 